Hello, welcome to the third day of our Taiwan adventure. It is 7.30 in the morning and we are currently finding our way to Chiayi Station. So this is going to be just a short walk since our hotel is just located one kilometer from the station. So yesterday, we had a great time walking around the city and we visited some of their attractions including the very charming Hinoki village. To keep the thrill alive, today we will be heading to Alishan National Forest Recreation Area. We made every effort to fit it into our itinerary because we were incredibly eager to experience the place. We hope it exceeds our expectations. There are different ways to get to Alishan National Forest Recreation Area, including a direct bus travel that would take only about two hours and perhaps the fastest do-it-yourself option to get to the place but we decided to go on a little more adventure and instead we had to take an express train bound for an old town called Thin Chiho. And from there, we will take a bus to Alishan National Forest Recreation Area. Since we have already secured our physical tickets yesterday, we can now proceed directly inside the station. Thank you. Well, this station kind of an old school, but it's got that vintage charm, don't you think? Well, imagine this. What if the ticket lady yesterday whispered instead? But from nine and three quarters, please. Now, that would have been a wild ride. Well, yeah, but let's just stick to what is real and keep the excitement rolling. Very well then. As instructed by the ticket attendant yesterday, you have to wait at platform number one. And it is located just by the police station. Wing guard, oh, love it. Never mind. Since today is Saturday, there are supposed to be two train trips to Then Chiho. We chose to take the earlier train which is scheduled to leave at 8.30 a.m. The next train will leave half an hour after. Since it is the weekend, it is not surprising to see a lot of fellow travelers on board this train. Most of them are locals who are eager to make the most of their weekend. It is heartwarming to see many people embracing the opportunity to explore the beauty of their own country. Then Chiho and Alishan are situated on a higher altitude and they are part of Chiai County. And this part of Taiwan promises to be a haven for nature enthusiasts with its abundance of hiking trails and breathtaking sceneries. As we journey along, the train gradually ascends into higher altitudes, offering us a glimpse at Taiwan's natural splendor. Well, we might have wished for a different weather, but the weather today perfectly orchestrated the splendor before us. As the views are made even more dramatic by the fogs enveloping the landscape, shrouding the mountains in aura of mystery. Makes us first time travelers here wonder what spectacle could be hiding behind those fogs. While the mist, yeah, they gracefully dance, delicately veiling the windows of the train.
Finally, after more than three hours of travel, we now arrived at the Chio train station. And right off the train, we are greeted by a bustling crowd of fellow travelers. <laughs> Squeezing our way through the crowd, we have to get ourselves to our first order of the business, and that is the souvenir stamps. Ah, this craze has become even more addictive to us. We haven't been here before, but we are pretty certain that they are by the window of the information counter. <laughs> Fenchio is an old town established by around the early mid 18th century. Originally, it serves as a resting stop along the Alishan Forest Railway, which was constructed to transport timbers from the mountains to the lowlands. <laughs> Now, look at that view. Wish we could stay here a bit longer, but we're only going to be here for an hour, so we have to make the most of it. Forty minutes back. Well, aside from the busting train station, the old road, and the market, Fenchio also offers different destinations to visit, like a hiking trail which we would have loved to tackle if given enough time. Oh, yes. 
This one, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Squeezing our way through the tight alleys of the old town, we find ourselves engulfed by the vibrant energy pulsating through these narrow corridors. Everywhere we turn, we are greeted by a multitude of charms and allures of diverse shops, each one vying for our attention. From tea houses to market stalls, their chance kind of makes us invited to delve even deeper into the heart of this charming old town. <laughs> Ah, the name I see the fun. Must old street. Can we walk here that way? Yeah, I want to be about the banking. This one, this one. Wish we could stay here a little longer, but unfortunately though our time here is only limited as we need to catch the bus to Alishan National Forest Recreation Area. And ooh, by the way, there are lots of restaurants here and we found restaurants that serves bento boxes and a lot of people are digging into those restaurants but we chose to go for smaller bits and bought fresh baked donuts and paired them with that refreshing drink we bought earlier. With the train stop clear of excited tourists, we found an opportunity to capture the beauty of the train against the backdrop, free from the hassle and bustle. And just as we are about to leave, the second train has just arrived. As fresh wave of enthusiastic travelers ready to explore the charming streets and alleys of this small town, we are also ready to bid farewell to this charming train station. As instructed by the information officer at the train station, who was kind enough to point us to the direction to where the buses are, we just need to find the main road on top of this hill. 
I believe this is the main road, and according to the information officer at the station, we should be able to find the buses further down the road. Walk down 300 meters to the left. Down 300 meters and then to the left. very limited, we certainly had a great time at Centrio. We hope you did as well. If we had enough time, we would love to visit their hiking trail. Well, I guess that leaves us enough reason to come back. I believe they have accommodations around here. Plus, a visit to tea farms around the neighboring settlements would also be a fun thing to do. Well, anyway, that is hoping that we can have the opportunity to travel back to Taiwan in the future. But right now we are very excited to get to our next destination. According to the information officer, there are two buses that will leave the Chio to Alishan National Forest Migration Area. And we are taking the earlier one, which is scheduled to leave at 12.50 p.m. The second bus will leave at 2 p.m. Our next destination, Alishan National Forest Recreation Area, is situated in a much higher elevation. It should be much colder up there. The train from Chiai to Vinchio supposedly extends to Alishan until a typhoon hit this area, deeming the route unfit for use. Um, excuse me, is this where we can take the bus for Alishan? Chao For Alishan bus yes, yes. here. No, you're walking fast. Down. Down. The right hand. The right hand. Thank you. These buses stationed here are probably private tour buses, and we still have to walk a bit further down. And I think this should be it. Temperature is 8 degrees Celsius and it is already 12.40 in the afternoon. Our bus will arrive any minute now. We are off to our next destination. Again, we had a great time at Vincio. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you do, consider subscribing so you won't miss out on what is next. May all of you have an amazing day and see you at Alishan National Forest Recreation Area.